welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial in this tutorial we will make a assembly of a spring and we will make a simple animation a spring animation in SOLIDWORKS with the help of motion study I hope you like it so let's start to make this simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS here let's start to create our first part of a spring animation it's a spring front plane a sketch I will create one path for a spring so activate line tool and draw one vertical line Press escape key or right click and exit. Now activate smart dimension tool and allocate some dimension, let us say 120 millimeter. Now exit. Again, I am going to activate front plane, sketch, activate circle tool, activate smart dimension. Now let us make a distance, let us say 20 and the diameter 6 millimeter. Okay, it's still not defined. Why? Because there is a no relation between these two points. So hold shift key, select center point and center of circle and make a constraint horizontal. Fine. Exit. Go to features and activate swift boss base feature. Now we want to create a spring. So first sketch profile, profile already selected, choose a path. But come to option and first we have to follow path okay second profile twist here you have to write twist to value if you write twist to value it will ask you either degree radiant revolutions i'll keep revolution and uh, how many revolution let's say 10 look that's perfectly going to match in in this i'll say yes look now let me activate show this line now we want to cut from a planar surface so just go to surface and here you will find one option cut with surface so before going to cut on top side let's create a plane first reference i'll choose this line the second reference i'll select the end point of line you will see say yes activate cut with surface now here the plane already selected what we created but check the direction it's going reverse direction so click on this switch and make upside see it is moving upside because we want to cut upper extra features or extra solid body say yes and look it is trimmed click hide now similarly i'll choose top plane which is the bottom of this spring again activate cut with surface now plane already selected just see the direction of arrow it is going downward this is perfect say yes and if you check bottom see again it cuts okay now let's save this part one uh, i'm going to create one folder new folder spring animation spring save new part top plane is sketch now we will create a base for up and bottom so i am going to select here let's say rectangle center rectangle smart dimension 80 millimeter now if you hold shift key and select both the lines and you will see a, some add relations so i'll choose equal activate extruded boss base feature from its perfect from which plane we are going to extrude the second is you have to define direction blind and it moving upside that's fine 10 millimeter sketch now here we will create a hole of the spring size 
and spring size is going to be let's say 20 20 40 plus 6 millimeter thickness is 46 and we will cut a path for this and uh, let's make half of the thickness and uh, we will allocate a color to this it so it looks better than okay save and this is going to be part two let's say support okay now let's create new i'll choose here assembly okay now first let's click now first before going to place let's go open the i button and activate view origin if you move cursor near origin it will be coincide see see click and leave simply it is allocated at the perfect position according to plane if you see top top plane right plane see at the center so this is the best thing for this now insert again component now this time i am going to activate a spring okay let's add few relation between this mat select the bottom of a spring and bottom of this hole coincide relation again select the line and this circular face and make here relation co-centric say ok that's fine now now here I will going to insert again support now at bottom you will see this simple pop up window now this will try to help you rotate the part so I am going to select x axis rotate component above x one time click again second time two time and see this is going to be in perfect place just above this activate mat tool now here is standard mat selection I am going to choose these two faces and here see coincident you, you will say yes now similarly select this face and this face again make relation coincident say yes cancel now just drag it upside okay now if you want to move a spring up and down you have to change some relation in this before going to change anything let's save this rebuild and save a spring animation let's say save this assembly then spring edit part drop and we will change this length if you see in swift there is a one length 120 millimeter right click edit sketch now delete this length because we want to move this spring up and down so we need it to be free here one option called add relation here you have to select the entities i am going to choose this point and the age of inside of this circular cutout here choose coincide see it's coincide say yes simply exit from the sketch then again exit from the part edit now we comes here right click toolbar and activate motion manager go to motion study now let me little adjust this now here simply do one thing keep study type of study animation i will drag this one to up to 2 second and click on this top and take it half then again 
select this arrow and drag up to 4 second and again this one move upside. Now here select calculate. Now look it is going to calculate slowly. If you just play back loop mode play. See, this is how spring works. So, this is a simple tutorial how to make a simple animation in SOLIDWORKS with the help of motion study. I hope you like it. Do not forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.